Greetings. I don't like to tell people to hit the like buttons to remind them because I feel like uh, if they like it, they're, they'll hit it. And subscribe, you know, I don't often say it, but I'm trying to get to 500 subscriptions before 2022 so we at 485 somewhere around there now YouTube don't notarize the people uh, my viewers when I post a new video So I found a way to do it where they might run across it. Uh, so this is a continuation of the book of life. I said life. I meant the book of light. You got to have some light in your life to guide you on the right path. Or you can't see in the darkness without the light. And most of my Subscribers know that uh, I'm an elderly brother, 75. In my life, I could have been took out, but I was preserved just for this moment here and now. The school of young brothers and sisters. See, Social Security might not be here when you're when uh, you reach my age or younger and they don't want the elders to school you especially the ones that still got all their faculties in order to school you on the game that they playing it's not no game it's real, it's real but psychologically you know game is the street word for psychological warfare see uh, that that goes across business, uh, all types of uh, genres. You got to have some kind of game, some kind of psychological advantage, because it's all about war. Business is war, you know, and the government business. We call them the merchants of death because they're getting paid off of disease, disasters, you know, destruction from wars. So they plan on being your God. A lot of people, a lot of black people are satisfied with that. People think they they deaf, dumb, and blind. No, they're not deaf, dumb, and blind. Because they know that the devil or the Caucasian is trying to take the black man out. But they don't think that they fit in that category. They think they're special to the to the uh, Caucasian. They don't feel like they, they, uh, his uh, flunkies or his pawns. They feel like you the stupid one. Most of y'all are kind of ignorant because y'all give y'all money away. We on the subject of money because it's all about controlling you with the money. They weaponize the money to beat you down with, to make you run after it see the family structure has always been the mother nurture and program the kids program the children we don't call them kids we call them children but now everybody gotta work the old man gotta work 
Mama got to work. The babies got to work. They all got social security cards. They all chasing that dollar, see. They got to chase it because if they want nice homes and nice cars and nice clothes or whatever. But you got to prioritize your values, what you need and what you want. You got to separate the two. See, and you always investing in the Caucasians programs, but you don't invest in yours. You know, if you want to get a business, you say, well, I'm going to get a loan. And then you get that loan and he charge you interest. And the Bible speaks, the Quran speaks on that, the Bible speaks on that they call that usury because when they put interest on the dollar that they loan you, they call it usury. And the creator speaks against it, you see. And uh, so you buy insurance, you buy uh, license, you buy everything you do, you, the money's going out your pocket into somebody else's pocket, you know. And then the rest of the time, you want to have a good, the rest of the little money you got, the little change you got, you want to have a good time, you know. So you buy alcohol, you don't. Your people don't make alcohol. Caucasian make alcohol. He make everything that you that you want and everything that you think you need. He makes it. Your or either somebody else make it, Chinese or some, because y'all y'all like them weeds, you know. And your people ain't making nothing. And if you do open up a business, you got to buy your supplies and your stocks from another group of people, from the Chinese or from the Caucasian. And it's hard for y'all to understand that. And then your brothers and sisters that know that y'all don't have the foresight to see these things, they say, well, we're going to get the rest of your money, the little money you got. So you go online and you see somebody you like, personality you like, and you just give them money because you think they they in your corner or they they talk the way you like to talk or they talk the, the kind of talk that you want to hear. And a brother like me don't talk the way, you know, you like. I'm serious because we in serious times. Keep your money in your pocket. Charity begins at home. I'm black light spreading the truth and passing the mic.